Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I was working on Spanish mainland yesterday. I thought it would be a bit of a claim not to fit in a couple of days skiing. So I'm here in Andorra for the weekend. I've just got off the uh, lift in El Tata. So I'm about to head off. Let's see if I can do some video along the way and if I can even remember how to ski as I didn't get away last year because of the COVID. Stay tuned. Well, so far so good. It's a bit funny when you don't ski for a few years and you've got to remember all the techniques and everything. But anyway, I got to the first lift, no problem. So I'm now heading over towards Pass and it's very cloudy today. It could indeed snow. Well, so far, guys, there's like nobody here. I've been on every single lift by myself so far, which I'm not complaining about because of the COVID, but it just shows you how uh, dead the place is out of season. Um, I'm just heading over towards Pass now. I'll just give you a quick view down onto Grau Reuch, and I'm just going to drop down this black as I'm getting my ski legs back now. That's a view over to Grau Reuch there. So I'm dropping down this black right in front of me now. And I must admit, visibility is shit today for the first day. It's like you can't really see with your goggles off and with your goggles on, you still can't see the contours in the snow. So hey ho, hope for a bit of sun tomorrow. Well, I've just arrived at the Husky Bar in La Pasta de la Casa. And there's a lot more activity over here. Very cloudy as well today over here. And a bit more icy. There's a view looking up the mountain. A lot of low lying cloud. So I've just checked, it's only half past 10, so it's probably only took me less than an hour to get over all three valleys. Probably because there's no congestion on the lift. And um, oh, I am not drinking another full bottle of Rioja tonight. My head is not good either. So I'm going to give that a miss. I'm just having a hot chocolate now, so that'll go down nicely. So definitely a bit busier over this side. A lot of queues down at Grauroich to get on the lift. So I'm just going to head back down now and I'll do a little video on the way down. Here we go. This is one of my favourite routes. One-handed, no poles. Just such a nice long easy blue this I loves it I do There we go, there's a little bit of skiing footage. Well, I'm back over in the Soldeo sector now. Been some great new runs. This is the Bart Bar. This is where my mate Bart stopped and we did a little video a couple of years ago. The weather's picked up now and the visibility's a lot better. Now down to Soldeo. See if I can do a little bit of this bit.
here, there's powdery stuff. It's much more scenic over here than pass. Got these nice um, runs down through the trees. I'll do a couple of the other ones. Maybe this afternoon or tomorrow. Just a lovely, easy blue run down into Soldau. Well, it's about half past two now. My legs are nearly done in, first day. And it's always best not to push it once you feel your legs going. Uh, that's when you can have an accident. So, the bus doesn't go back till half three, so I've got a lovely black here in front of me. I'm just gonna eat that, have a little bit more play, and then head back to the hotel. Just on this run before, it's an absolute Belter, absolute belter. There it is, looking up from halfway. It's an absolute belting run, that. But it is starting to ice off a little bit now, mind. And that's where we've got to go there, down to El Tarta. Good morning. Well, I've just got up nice and early. I'm down at the locker room. Nobody's here and the bus will be going at 8.45. So I'm gonna get ready and get on the first bus and see what those fresh pieces are like. Well, it is just after nine, but there's not many people here. I'm sure that's not gonna last very long as it's a Saturday, but a lovely, lovely day. Let's get me other ski on here. There we go. So, I'm going to go up here, down the other side, and then back up to that one there, and hopefully there'll be a nice bit of uh, sun on the other side. And it's just so fantastic. It's all been peace bashed, it's absolutely wonderful. So we'll just get onto this lift here now here we go probably see nobody here I'll have to hang up to get on the lift well the piece has been absolutely phenomenal this morning I did a black second run and uh well, you know what they say, once you've done black, you don't want to go back. So I'm just heading now over to Canillo for a cup of keto hot chocolate. I'll do a little video on the way down. Here we go. All the runs have just been peace, peace bashed last night and they're all just absolutely smooth and you couldn't really want anything better. To top it off, I just came off that list and there was a bit of highway to hell plane. Fantastic. The view. See how sparse the snow is when you look across the Pyrenees there. Look how nice this piece is. It's not as easy skiing with two poles in one hand and a camera in the other hand, mate.
Here's somebody who's living. You want your glove? Uh, okay, leave it. It was actually a glove with a GoPro camera on it. I thought he dropped it. That would have been funny if I'd picked his glove up and his camera. Look at this, guys. Doesn't get any better than this. Amazing. So I've ended up coming over to Altata. I got to Canilla and there was no sun on the cafe so I'm back over here now with my keto hot chocolate. Yum. So I'm just over at Soldeo. Just been to the shops. And um, as my good friend Tracy has always taken the piss out of my North Face pants, I've got myself a pair of spider. Read the reviews on them last night, they have fantastic reviews, apart from the pockets which have got a velcro closure and the guy said you can get a bit of snow in your pockets if you fall down but I'm not really likely to fall on my backside because I'm a skier. Um, so yeah, took the plunge and got them and uh, bought a fleece top as well. Um, so seemed really nice and not as baggy. There's always no face ones. Ooh. So I'm just on the cable car going back up to Soldado. And this is a view going up the cable car. And that is the black that I came down yesterday. Which is a... Uh, that's called the Vanessa run. Because Vanessa once came down this black, had a spill, and went about 15 metres upside down head first. The weather is lovely and that's looking back down onto Soldeo. Well I say to have a little walk around to Soldeo, it's been a bit of a day, when we talk about that in the morning. I'm just coming in here now and I'll just pan around onto the valley down to Altata. There we go, that's the valley, Altata. Just actually around the corner there, you can just see it. There's my hotel, the Euroski down at the bottom. And it's not a bad walk around here, just around this little bit of road. And then um, we're up to Soldeo. <laughs> so I finally decided to go and try and find a spider jacket to match my pants. So I ended up in Pasta La Casa eventually found something suitable and had to ski all the way back with a carrier bag on my arm with my other jacket in. So that was quite funny. And incidentally, I've just found this uh, grey hat here that I've got on my head. So another little find of mine. So looking forward to tomorrow. I'm gonna move the car down to Altada first thing in the morning because there is just no to tail traffic 
on this road from about three o'clock. So I'm going to sort of head off a little bit earlier tomorrow. So I'll do some video tomorrow and see how we get on. I'm just sitting here now with a mate Guinness. I know it's not very keto, but I've been very good on this holiday. I have virtually no carbs, so I think I deserve it, to be honest. Hey guys, good morning. Well, it was a better night's sleep last night in the hotel. I just decided I might as well put the air conditioning on all night as the place was so unbearably hot and I, I was unable to sleep without opening the window. And then I had the Niagara Fall River going through the middle of the hotel, which I couldn't sleep because of the noise, uh, which just makes you wonder, you know, we're trying to save the planet as of all the greenhouse gases. By heating the place so hot, you've then got to run air conditioning to be comfortable. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So anyway, I've packed up nice and early. I've got down here to El Tata car park at the tally cabin. I thought I'd get here early to get a parking space. There was about 300 when I arrived. It's filling up now, like. Uh, so I'm going to nip over to Soldeo. I think I'm just going to go and maybe try that top on in the smaller size that I got first and foremost, and then get on with the day. It's a little bit cloudy, and there are a few snowflakes dropping at the minute. However, I've just spoke to one of these lunatic uh, trail ski people that walk up the mountain on the skis, and uh, he says it's not going to be bad weather today. He says it's going to be absolutely fine, and he's a local, so he should know. So there we go. So I'm just waiting for the tally cabin to open now at nine o'clock and I will get on my way. We'll catch you later. Well, I've just been to the shop, managed to change my top. Actually ended up getting a more expensive one. Oops. But they didn't have the smaller size in the one I had that I liked. Anyway, it is what it is. I've got a top on. It's actually snowing now, which gives me a bit of trepidation for the journey back. It wasn't forecast until later today. So I've just been right on the top this morning. It's like five meters visibility. It's not good. So I'm going to ski down to El Tata now and just see what it's like down there. I can obviously keep an eye on the road and that sort of thing. I'll just give you a little view of Soldeo here at the top. Here we have Soldeo. Don't know if you can see the snow or not. And uh, you can probably see all the low lying cloud. Not particularly good. All of this. Down that black one of my favourite one is this virtually zero. Thought we should maybe do a little uh, video through the kiddie circus. I don't want to have a bit of music playing down here. There we go. Nearly out. Well, I'm back down at the cafe at the bottom of El Tata now, having one of these uh, keto hot chocolates. Visibility is really bad, and uh, to be honest, you can only really ski the lower runs, it's just like soup at the top. Let me pan round. There we go, you can see the cloud. I just did the black run before, it was just like zero of his literally 
Well guys, called it a day, half past 12. It's like pea soup up there. I've had a really good morning though and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. So I'm gonna head back through France apparently. Uh, I'm not gonna go through Andorra, Dolavella because the roads are all open. So I'm gonna head back now and head back down to the ferry. Thanks for watching. If you've uh, liked the video, don't forget to click and subscribe and we'll catch you later. Cheers.